Corey Wilson here. Um, so today's do-it-yourself project is refinishing an old rocker that we've had in the house. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sand this thing down, and we're actually going to go ahead and paint it black, um, because that's the color um, that Sarah would like. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple of the products that we've got that we're going to need to do this. I picked up a can of Rust-Oleum um, Gloss Black. Um, this is an oil-based paint. Um, oil-based will harden up a lot better than anything latex. So I chose an oil-based paint for that. Um, I also have a can of uh, mineral spirits here, which we'll need to thin the oil-based paint because we're going to spray it. Uh, handy dandy mask, make sure you use it. Oil-based is stinky and not good for your health. I have to be breathing in. And our good old sanding sponge. Um, I also have some old auto bondo um, that I picked up from the, the auto body shop. Um, you can also order this right on Amazon. Um, and I'm going to use that because I've got some small cracks that I want to be able to fill so it'll look a little bit better. They're mostly cosmetic. And those of you that have watched my videos before know how much I love the Critter, um, which I picked up off Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, this is a siphon sprayer. It works absolutely awesome for these small projects. So that's what we'll be using today. Other than that, you'll just need an air compressor, of course, to be able to hook the Critter to. Um, and that's basically everything you'll need to complete this project. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. So once you've got it all sanded up, uh, you feel pretty happy with your product. I used 220 sand, a 220 grit sandpaper that worked pretty good. Um, you know, once you get all that shine off, just blow it off. All right, so I'm going to use some mineral spirits um, on a on a towel here, and I'm just going to try to wipe any of that real fine dust that's on here off because if you you just want to get it as clean as you can, so that way. Uh, you have a smoother paint finish. All right, while we're waiting for that um, paint thinner to dry, which takes about you know two or three minutes or so, we're going to mix up some Bondo. I'm just going to mix a little bit in my hand using these gloves, um, so that way I can fill in a couple of the fine cracks that are in the chair. Um, and all you got to do is really scoop a little bit out throw it in your hand, and then take your hardener and just mix it together. So this hardener you only need for a little scoop like that, maybe you know an inch um, long little strip of actual hardener. You see if something like that will work. You just mix it up using your finger. You should turn a light pink when it's fully mixed. You only have about uh, you know, three or four minutes really before this starts to harden. Um, so you got to uh, kind of apply it pretty quick. Don't worry about making it look pretty. We're going to sand it down as soon as this gets on there. Here we're going to go ahead and get the paint mixed up. We're waiting for our Bondo to dry. Um, so again, this is just Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. Because it's oil-based, we need to thin it with paint thinner or mineral spirits. Um, and the reason why we need to thin it is because um, we have, uh, we're going to be spraying with the critter. Um, and most sprayers require it to be thinned in order for it to suck through because this can be thick stuff. So we're just going to pour a little into our mason jar because the critter uses mason jars, which I think is pretty awesome. Fill one mason jar up, and then we're just going to add about three capfuls of this mineral spirit. So somewhere around three tablespoons, okay? Doesn't have to be magical science here. We're just trying to thin this out a little bit. And put the cap back on your your uh, mason jar, give it a good shake up, mix it all in. And hook your critter up. This is just 
it, I use mineral spirits when I'm storing it. So when I'm done using it, I put it back in mineral spirits so it doesn't harden up on me. And then throw your critter in there, screw it down. Now, one thing I want to show you about the critter. The critter has an adjustable tip. So you want that tip to be about midway across this, uh, this you know, blow hole here. And the reason for that is because you want to get a good stream. If you notice that it's applying too thick for you, you want to screw this thing up. So screw it out a little bit. And that'll mean that um, you'll get more air and less um, volume. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes for our Bondo to set up. And uh, then we'll sand and we'll be all ready to paint because we've mixed our paint. All right, guys. So we have, at this point, um, removed all of the rest of our... Um, Bondo, you can see actually, I'll bring it over here. You can see where the cracks were. They were just small little cracks, hairline cracks, but I wanted to make sure that I've got them all sealed up because if not, it'll show when I paint. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got that done. Um, other, the next step is we're just gonna go ahead and apply our paint. Um, we're gonna do thin coats. It's probably gonna take at least two coats to, to completely um, do this chair. I'm going to start from the top, work our way down. I usually start from the top, do the sides, um, and then all the way down to the bottom. Um, you want to have thin coats. You want to be about four, five, maybe even six inches, depending on how thick your paint is coming out um, off of the surface of the chair. Um, otherwise, that's really all there is to it, guys. Take your time. Don't overspray. It's better to put thin coats than thick coats and have runs. All right, so that's coat number one. We'll let that dry up for a couple of hours until it's dry to the touch, and then we'll go ahead and apply coat number two. All right, guys, so we have got our first coat on here. It looks really uh, pretty good. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna use our sanding sponge on the 220 grit side. We're just gonna lightly sand it to get a, a real smooth finish across it. You don't want to sand too hard, um, just a light sanding, smooth it out, and then we're going to go ahead and spray another coat. All right, guys, so here's our completed rocker. Came out really good. Um, this rocker has a lot of shine to it, which I absolutely love. Um, it's, it's hardened up really good. Um, you just want to wait about you know, seven days for it to fully cure before you'd put it in any kind of a heavy use. But that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, so I'll drop all the product links that I've used in the comments section. If you like this video and you want more do-it-yourself videos similar to this, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys next time.